Good name's gone. Damn, Vito and Liz coming back at you. Now, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ian, I need you to tell him what's best for me. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> to stay quiet God that way you could finish his sentence. God damn it. I know, I know, I know. That was good. I know. That was good. <laughs> good. I know. Always. But, uh, time. Guys, I apologize for us being late on this one. Um, you know we are not full timers yet. We get one time a week to record, and we try to get as much as we can when we do record. Um, Jordan Lucas, I listened to your entire album. I loved it. It's for rap fans. I'm gonna say that. Like that's just like Jordan rap. Lucas is an old school rapper. Like rap, rap fans. Like people forget that Jordan Lucas is an old school rapper. Um, he has a goddamn brain in his head. I purposefully. Okay. Did not listen to the song on the album because I wanted to save it for a reaction. Okay. So I have not. The only the only little bit I've heard is like five seconds because when listening to the album on my phone, my phone's on shuffle. So Apple kept trying to say, "Listen, Ian, you haven't listened. You haven't listened yet. You need to listen." Yeah, I had to, I had to stop it. So I have not listened to this one in in its entirety. I wanted to save this to react with y'all. So that's okay. Um, I listened to the rest of the album. But you know it's really hard for Ian. So he's yeah, like, I said y'all won, but I gotta listen to the rest. Like I said, <laughs> bro, if it had been a new Eminem album, a new J. Cole album, or a new Kendrick Lamar album, there would have been no fucking self-control. If that shit don't come out on like a Friday night, we, we fucked. There would have been no self-control whatsoever. If an Eminem album drops on a Tuesday night, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, no, no, I'm listening. I'm gonna listen. There's no self control. That thing could be like Ian could be like, I gotta go to bed, and it drops at two a.m. But <laughs> right now, I'm saying now, I'm real. But uh, guys, Jordan Lucas, Jelly Roll, best for me. Um, I've heard that this is about uh, like mental health and addiction. No and Jelly, definitely. That's so that makes a lot of sense. But I also heard Joyner went in in the storytelling on this. What? Uh, when does Joyner not? Facts. But uh. Enough of us talking. Let's just get into this. I love the fact that Joyner's a local rapper. Yeah. Yeah, support your local hip-hop, man. And as big as he is, man, should be bigger. For, for, no, for, should have had a Grammy already. Please. I'm not racist, should have had a Grammy. Dude, easily. But they racist, yo. I don't, I don't care what anybody said. The song and music video, however, however you want to categorize it, label it, whatever. Both of them. That should have been a Grammy. That should have got song of the year. And it could have got message of the year. Yeah, but y'all, according to Academy, get your shit right. They're but, gonna, uh. They're gonna get it right. Nah. But, anywho. Without further ado, Ian, hit that play button. Let's get this rolling. How can you love someone and learn to let them go? How can we fall apart on things we'll never know? Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to fill in your empty space? Tell me, is it really love if you have to ask if they'll stay? Yeah, I got somebody I love. Someone who's really important to me, but now they addicted to drugs. Someone who not who they used to be, and we ain't been keeping in touch. I ain't gonna say any names at all, cause I don't want no one to judge. But I wrote the song, I hope when they hear it, they'll never forget who they was. I hope you're feeling your spirit enough. I wanna just tell you I love you in case that you really don't hear it as much. I know we ain't talked in a while, but fuck it, I really don't care what it was. I wanna reach out, but you keep on shutting me down, and you ain't been caring as much. What the fuck happened to you? Losing a fight. Mm. I never thought I'd see the day That's that you rough. let addiction ruin your life. Damn. Must be some close friend to him for yeah, a yeah. to, have, to have had Joyner write this song. Yeah, someone called close Joyner. Friend. It's a close friend that's addicted right. to something going through. Man. It's a... People vote someone's always had that type of person in their life who has been close to them and is going through some demons. And they're fighting demons, and you're trying to reach out. Yeah, and no man. matter how much you try, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. So that addiction has you like like a strong hold on you. You know. But the sad part it's... is you can't abandon them completely because eventually they're gonna need your help. Mm -hmm. Just for an example, what's going on in the video there? Damn, man. Even when you think all is lost, 
Damn. One last time you reach out might be that one time they need yeah. you the most. Yeah, and they, uh, the hardest part is that you have to keep yourself in into that um relationship with that person. Yeah. Is trying not to judge them in their face yeah, of what exactly. they're doing because then they're gonna run off and then you're not gonna hear about them and the next time you hear about them, you're going they're gone. Their, you're they're, going to their funeral. Gonna, exactly. Yeah, true. So you That's gotta true. like sh- like like stay quiet for like not not judge them about what they're doing. Just be there. Yeah. Once in a blue moon, you know, tell them about it, but not aggressively. Yeah, because no, 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 no. They gotta be the ones to make the choice to get exactly. It. But exactly. hopefully, you're there when they finally realize they need the help. Yeah, mm. yep. you don't want to be there. You don't want to be not be there when they finally realize they need the help. Yep. Yeah. No, I agree. Damn. Let's get it, Johnny. You lose in a fight. I never thought I'd see the day that you let addiction ruin your life. Everyone calling that shit a disease and making you feel like you in the right. But I hate the fact that you really be using that as an excuse to do what you like or do what you might. And I keep on praying and reaching for you. I hope you look in the mirror and see all the things I've been seeing in you. Hope your reflection will send you a message and show you this shit is much deeper than you. If you don't believe in yourself, then you'll never believe in somebody believing in you. And I gotta tell you the truth. Ain't that the truth right there, y'all? Y'all? If you won't believe in yourself, you that's why you want you gotta want help. Because if you can't believe in yourself, you'll never believe that somebody else would actually be believing. Yeah, true. Yeah, you'll never believe that they actually believe in you. That's why they keep blowing you off and rejecting you because yeah, they man. never think that you can actually believe they're worth saving. You gotta believe in yourself even when no one else does. Yep. There's a cold world out there, man. It's a cold, harsh, dark world. For real, it's you gotta cold. find your. It, as cold as it is, you got to find your warmth. As much as people want to try and make it a simple and rosy world for everybody. It's yeah, not. yeah, you got to. It's a cold, harsh, dark world, and you got to make the best of it. Yep. To lose it, and you in denial about it, and just want to make up a million excuses. Tearing our family apart, but you leave a scar, and everyone bruises. Every decision affecting us all, and if you get lost, then everyone loses. For real. And I'm going to be next to leave. I know that guy got a plan and you ain't fulfilling your destiny. Much as I need you, I will not be sticking around or watching you rest in peace. I promise I love you, but I gotta do what's best for me. How can you love someone and learn to let them go? How can we fall apart on things we'll never know? Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to feel That is true. Sometimes you do have to let them go to figure it out for a little bit, but you can't abandon them completely. Right. Yeah, some you gotta love people from a distance sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. But again, when they're not to for money or anything else, but actually want help. Yeah, you gotta love people from a distance. And that that doesn't make you an ass. It's just like I love you, but I can't trust you right now. No, exactly. And before something even worse happens, I got to separate us. Yeah, I got, yeah. Tell me, is it really love? If you have to ask if they'll stay. Look, I know you've been calling for me. You hit on my phone, but I've been alone so long, I'm harder to reach. I know you ain't saying any names, but I got a feeling you talking to me. I hate when these demons get in on my soul. I feel like I'm caught in the beast. I do, I let go of something I know is bigger and stronger than me. If I could be honest, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not who you want me to be. Nobody is perfect, not even you. So why you keep targeting me? I feel like we can't even have a genuine convo without you starting to preach. I feel like a dog on a leash. It's not what I need. Living in hell, wondering when I gotta leave. Like, how can I breathe? How you gonna tell me addiction is not a disease? What do you mean? If it's not a disease, then why has it gotten to me? It's not what it seems. But you always be making me feel like the problem is me. I'm not going to be who you want me to be. Like God decided for me and speaking to God. How the fuck you know all of the plans he's got for me? So give me a break. I've been itching away from trying to get out of this dream. I'm drifting away. How come you only there for me when I be trying to get clean? My biggest mistake is me wishing that things were different. I felt like the drugs is made for sinning. That's why I've been stuck in the same position. Fuck. I'm falling, but I cannot budge. Been wondering why I'm in love with a strange position. Why the fuck you? Dude, join her storytelling. <laughs> it's like what it's like to be stuck in that dark world. Oh my god, to be in that swirling. Dude, like the. Jeez, Yo, I just felt my hair stand up, bro. Joiner is perfectly explaining that pain in hell. 
that you can be go through when you're going through that type of hell. Mm-hmm. Man, like, whether it's a, a drug addiction or depression or what you're stuck in, when you're trapped in your own world, fighting to get out and trying to f- find a reason for existence. Wow, Joyner. Just... Jeez, man. Yeah. No, it's just the way he... he got me going. <laughs> the way Joyner be freaking... Dude, this is intense. It is. And jo- jo- Joyner is one of the few that can do this. Like there's right not now, many that can I do am this. Scared to listen to his other songs. Y'all need to stop disrespecting like this, this man. Oh my goodness! There really are very few storytellers that could do this. No, Joyner Jordan is being disrespected, and I'm saying I don't like it. He's being disrespected. Do you know what it's like to try to explain what goes on inside your mind? To try to talk through the depths of the hell that you go through when you're going through addiction? Or to talk about somebody else's perspective? Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, like... Dude, there's only very few rappers who can actually give lyricism from the perspective of another person. Yeah. Damn. Wow. God damn, bro. Quite completely across. Yeah. I see now three oh eight four forty two. Jelly Roll was the hook. Yep. I would I would want verse from him. I it's miss Jelly while. rapping. Yeah. That's just me, but I yeah, miss him I rapping. Miss him rapping, but he does have a beautiful. Voice. He, do, he does have a good singing voice, but I I miss him rapping. Yep. And that's exactly what happens when you try to when you try to help too much. They think that you're keeping them down even more, looking down on them and treating them worse. You body who doesn't want to get exactly back. you can't, and that's the point he's trying to get across you right can. there. As much as you want to help the person you, you love can, and you dude. want to, you want to get them better. If they don't want it, because if they don't think there's a problem, they're not going to do anything about it. Exactly. Unfortunately, most addicts have to hit rock bottom. Their rock bottom, not what you perceive as their. Rock this this bottom. is exactly. why I say, like, exactly. Th- um, and 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 I apologize if this is enabling anybody who's known someone who's rec- who's dealing with addiction or is going through recovery. Someone who is addicted to drugs. Like, I get it. You can't always enable them, and you can't always give them tough love. But, like, sometimes it's got to be like, all right, if you're a heroin addict, either pick heroin or be a parent. Yeah. You can't freaking do both, man. Right. What You got to give up one. If you're going to do a hair, be a heroin addict, all right, go be a heroin and let someone else watch your kid. Yeah, you can't. Who actually is going to care for your kid. You cannot... Be shooting up, and then say, "Well, I'm a, I'm a, a, a responsible parent." It don't work like that, man. And for anybody in the comments, like, well, what about people who smoke weed? That's completely different. Weed and heroin and are completely different substances. Hundred percent different things. Did, when you're talking about hard drugs like that, even alcohol and weed are completely yeah, different. Or yeah. So the, 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 I don't even want to hear and see that stupid comment. Like. I'm not saying, you know, have a joint in your mouth if you got a newborn. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. That's stupid. That's stupid. But if your kid's like 16 years old and it's the weekend and they're out with, and if they're at home just playing video games, and like, I don't think you're a bad parent for that. Yeah. But but even still, if you've got a newborn and you're outside in the backyard because you finally got a minute because they're sleeping, I understand. If, if you're trying to have a joint to wind down. Like, but you should not be having a joint rocking your baby. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I sure get that. Like, you got <laughs> some. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. But, like, but going from newborn to 16, that's a big leap. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, go for it. That's what I'm like. That's what I'm like. I think you can do. Jay, you're just time. Wind down. Like, yeah, Daddy's. Now, that's not saying, okay, my newborn's asleep. Let me go shoot up. No, yeah, bro. No. Nah. Right. That's completely different. You can't do that. Now, if you have a little glass of wine while your newborn is sleeping, that's a different story, too. But that don't mean it's kicked in. Yeah, like, no. you can't just no. be getting lit and turning it's up it's like that. Is it penny if you're, uh, um, if it's the mom doing it or the father doing it, if it's the mom doing it, a lot of times they're breastfeeding. You can't do it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, true. that's true. That's true. That's no right? point. Good point, Liz. For all the ladies out there. You shouldn't ladies. be doing cigarettes either if you're if, Yeah, for all the ladies right. out there. Good and, and, if, and if you want to smoke and if you have a partner and the partner, the, you know, is not, take turns because they got to be, you know. Can THC go through breast milk like that? Can it? For TH, like if a mom smokes weed, can it, can it can come head, through the breast milk like that? Well, system, it becomes a part of I wonder. It. Yeah, because if you could detect that there, it by just peeing, that's that there right. Because I know, yeah, I, I know it can lead to opioids like that. Yeah, I was like wondering anything if THC that goes into the mom's like, system can be part of her milk, right? Damn, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So THC, well, you shouldn't have alcohol or anything. Exactly, that's crazy. Yeah, you want to, but I've heard like when women are pregnant, you can have wine. I'm not saying like over consume right, on a it. glass or something. Maybe glass, like a glass. You could have you could have a uh, one beer. Okay. Um, but she would know here and there. That's that, yes. Like, but to, you're not, you don't want to get trashed. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't want. You like, can't. That's. I don't think one glass of wine is gonna like. There's like some helpful properties as long as you don't. Want I think it's red wine. Right? I think it's yeah. red. I've heard it's yeah. red wine. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. For someone to fill in your empty space Tell me is it really love See they gotta get to that point Yeah give them stay. How can you love someone And learn to let them go How can we fall apart On things we'll never know Isn't it funny you can change your ways For someone to fill in your Mm. Yeah. I, I, I get what he said. Is it really love if you have to ask for them to stay? Yeah, exactly. Damn, man. Well, mm -hmm. now that I think about it, was the perfect guy for the hook for this. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. Because and he does a exactly. lot of work for helping with overdoses. Yeah. yeah. He does a lot of work with addiction and mental health. Yep, I saw him. Damn. Yeah, he, he went, he like, Went in front of like the Senate committee. Yeah, yes. so. yeah. yeah, that's what I saw. That's what he he did. I was he's like, oh, overcome shit. addiction himself. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, facts. He was saying that he was a part of that before. You know, like pretty much like selling and stuff. Yeah, like and being into all of that as well, like being he was in that lifestyle. He was in that lifestyle, and then now he's you don't have to do out that. of that. Yeah, he's out of it, and he that. wants to help with that because he knows. His wife is one of the reasons why he's out of there. Yeah, hey, I, honestly, anybody who can... I've said it on this channel a bunch of times. Anybody who can overcome the struggles of addiction, all power to you. Mm -hmm. It's just... It makes you stronger yeah. sometimes. It's definitely not easy. No. So no one should ever try to minimize it or disregard it or, you That's know... That's one of the hardest struggles somebody No one should ever try to do that. You may, you're you making it worse by trying to say, oh, addiction ain't that hard. Dude, the amount... You're, <laughs> The amount of yeah. lives addiction is good. That's what I'm play. saying. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, man. But, guys, yeah, if you if you know anybody with addiction, just do your best to help them, man. And for the people that say addiction isn't a disease, it's... I don't want to say it's... I struggle with that part. Exactly. Same. Because it honestly, it, it honestly depends on the addiction. Because this is, like, like personally to me, Okay, because it is a mental thing, but it's. I think it. I do think it's largely attached to to mental health, mm -hmm. and that's like saying marijuana is a gateway drug. I understand when some people say marijuana is a gateway drug. As a collective, I don't think it is because I've known people. I've known Vito for like what five years now. Yeah, yeah. I've 
Bro, v- I've seen Vito smoke. I've not seen the only thing. O- only two things I've ever seen Vito do is smoke weed or drink alcohol. I've never even heard him think about going to do coke. No, never. No. So I think it's a curiosity thing. Yeah. Well, people assume well, that. Well, if you're willing to try weed, you're willing to try something else. And that's not. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. I, I mean, it could be curiosity. It could be that you're like you. Something is going on in your life uh, so yeah. impactful you want that stronger. you you know a person that does these things and you're like, I just want to take the pain away. That's and true. And you feel good That's that true. moment, and then you go back back to it Fair over enough. and over again, and then Fair enough. um you come and you find yourself being involved in that thing that is part of your life now. Yeah, and then. You're in a dark hole that you don't, you can't remember how the way you used to be before. Because now this is the new you. So that's yeah, kind of good, hard good point, Liz. Good to point, get man. out of that. And that's when it, it to me, it, it, yeah, it is mental health. It's a serious thing. It's not that, um, <laughs> it doesn't give the right for a, another person to come and put and judge that person yeah. what they're going through. Yeah. We all, we all become a weak in one point in our lives because of what we're going through. Everybody's got vulnerabilities. You know I don't give saying? a shit how macho you are. Yeah, Everybody's exactly. got vulnerabilities. Mm-hmm. Very true. Yeah. That's very, like, very true. I know there's plenty of people, it, it got to be within the United States and around the world, who smoke weed, who wouldn't, who are like, what do I need Coke for? Yeah. Yeah, I bet there's t- millions of people that which is why and only weed. You got to be careful who you smoking weed with because people be lacing that shit. Yeah, you, know? you got to be yeah. careful. So yeah, you just go, go yeah to dispensary. Go to the right one and or grow it yourself and keep that shit away from kids. And yeah, um, don't be giving that to kids either. Don't be giving weed to kids, but it ain't it ain't cute. I know high school kids getting the shit. I know and. It's part of being a... T- I get it. And if you're 30, you really shouldn't be smoking with 16-year-olds. Yeah, that's weird. That's on some like R. Kelly yeah. shit. I, I understand that's weird. a two year yeah. old brother smoking with a 16-year-old brother. I understand that. 32 smoking with some 16-year-olds. I don't care if that's your brother. That's kind of weird. Like, I get it at the 22-year-old bro, the 16-year-old brother. Like, actual brother. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even kind of like close cousins we grew up together. That's that's I kind of get that. But any like I've it's... I've seen some I've seen some mindsets where it's like where the mom does it with daughter or dad does it with son. It's like I'd rather they get it from me than somebody on the street. I get that. Yeah, I, I get, get that. that. I mean, that does kind of like a little to me. I yeah. haven't heard it that much like better. that. I, I, I get that. It's still, I will feel kind of iffy if I was like you know. Yeah. But I, I would say sixteen. Different. Depending. If you're a dad giving it to your 16 year old son, yeah, that's why I said 16. Yeah, yeah. but it's still weird. Like I said, it's still weird because it's it's like the 30 year old brother's trying to get hang with his younger bro. Yeah, he's like trying to feel young. It's but like, if you, like, don't give that shit to kids who are younger than 16. No, 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 no. Oh, anywho, your Wait, content. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, they, is what yeah. You're Honestly, they shouldn't sure experience none of that. They should yeah. No, 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 no. Just want to get that straight. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. that like, they should do like it. You said, or, if they're you know, going to, if you think they're going to try it anyway, I'd rather be the one to try it with them than to. That's what I'm. Yeah. Do you know how many like fifth, fourteen, fifteen had like a little swig of wine at dinner with their parents? Mm-hmm. Like, you know how many stories I heard of parents who found out their kids were smoking and they say, "Oh, you want to smoke? Smoking this whole pack right now." See how much you like to smoke after you smoke this whole pack. Yeah, like never smoked any, never smoked again in the entire life. Yeah, so something you gotta let parents raise their kids, man, in a responsible manner. Yes, <laughs> like, in a responsible manner. And again, uh, oh, not again, but I like. There is a difference between a beating and a spanking. Yes, there is. Parents should be able to spank their kids, not beat their kids. There is a difference between abuse and discipline. Exactly, a hundred percent. A spanking is completely different than a beating. Yes. Anybody who abuses their kids, you're you're a piece of shit. Yeah. And spanking is not abuse. Yeah, no. I got spanked when I, if I did something wrong, I got spanked. I got spanked when I was a kid. 
Remember back in the day, people like, don't make me get the one spoon. Oh, look, mom. I barely, uh, my I was, mom. I was a good girl. My mom. Get, I, barely, I, got the ones. I barely got spanked. Supposedly one time I called my dad a jerk. I don't remember it. Ooh. Who got to you first? Oh, my dad beat me while he was driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> he whooped my ass while he was driving the car. Shoot. He, he disciplined you. Yeah, he disciplined me. I was still in real danger. I, act, I guess I... He said beat, but he didn't... He disciplined me. God. Um, but see, that's it. But, but yeah, there's a difference between a spanking and a beat. Exactly. <laughs> a legit beating. Not getting beat when you because you called your dad a jerk. Yeah, I don't even remember doing it. But uh, but guys, it's anywho, get a jerk. Oh hell no! <laughs> hell no! Oh man! But guys, I hope y'all enjoy this. Sorry that we were late. You know, hey, the ones who've been subscribed to Blight Media for some time now, hey, nice you know day. our recording schedule. Yeah. But uh, hopefully one day we'll be re- yes. we'll be on point. We'll be live every day, having conversations with each and every one. For real. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe below. What's up? Y'all know what to do, man. Thanks for stopping and spending time with us today. That notification will give it a share because it does help the channel out. Please and thank you. See you in the next one, lady. Y'all take Peace. care.